Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a new moon eclipse summer solstice reading. So, this is right around June 21st because that is when it is. We are just going to see what comes up. What do we have for the new moon on the 21st? What do we have? for the new moon on the 21st. So the hangman reversed, the page of cups reversed, the knight of wands reversed, and the hierophant. So the hierophant is a higher power. It's a higher power. So a higher power is involved. We have an unrequited love situation here where there's there could be something that is one-sided. Somebody may be receiving a message, an unwelcome message, a something that is is uh, makes them cry or something like that. This is a, somebody's bubble being burst. Um, shattered dreams, perhaps. A rejection or tears. Uh, the Knight of Wands reversed is reckless behavior. Uh, out of control. A sudden departure of some sort. So we have a sudden departure. This, this is like a godly energy, a higher power. The hangman reversed is somebody that refuses to go in, struggling to let go, obsessed with control, not learning a lesson, uh, missing an opportunity, will not change, not interested in changing, not even going to consider changing. Therefore, there's going to be a rejection. There's no changing of the mind here. I'm not interested. You know, no, the page of cups reversed. There's there's uh, unrequited love. There's, there's, or it's a sad, sadness, okay? Um, not good news. Um, there's some sort of infatuation, perhaps, or insincerity here. Um, somebody may have a bad reputation. They're loud. This is a troublemaker, a show-off. Somebody that is out of control, maybe violent, uh, doesn't think before they act doesn't really want responsibility, has a chip on their shoulder. The Hierophant is a godly energy, somebody that is very intuitive, very much, uh, maybe there's a spiritual teacher or, or a guidance counselor or a counselor or, you know, maybe it's your gut or God that is saying that this is not good <laughs> by the looks of things. Anyway, the Hierophant um, is a higher power. waiting. It feels like God is waiting. That's what I wanted to say. Somebody is waiting. They are waiting for this. Waiting. Somebody, I feel like there's a higher power that is waiting for the moment. Mm. The world reversed. The emperor reversed. We could be dealing with a father. A father, a husband, a business owner, um, somebody that is very, very masculine, could be a female, but is very masculine female. Uh, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Now, the Ten of Pentacles reversed is a huge loss. It is losing it all. Somebody may have married for money. This is commitment and this is money, but this is married for money as well. Um, now, this is a business owner or a father uh, losing their business, losing their home losing their money. Um, this is the highest authority. The Hierophant is the highest authority, even higher than the Emperor. Okay, so keep that in mind. The world card reversed is no success. Um, this is frustration. Uh, not learning from mistakes right underneath the hangman reverse. We have an individual that does not learn from their mistakes. They refuse to change a thing. They, do, they just don't learn from their mistakes. They keep repeating the same mistakes. 
Um, very egotistical, very much under a lot of social pressure to, you know, look like they're rich or look like they have a lot of money, look like they're successful. Uh, this person does things um, recklessly, very, very, very boastful. Okay, this person is loud and obnoxious. Um, wants to show the world that they have all these things. King of Cups. Um, three of cups. Five of wands reversed. And the overall energy, we're going to get one card. The overall energy for this reading is the hermit. The hermit is becoming consciously aware taking a time out it's going to, it's going to, you are going to need to withdraw you're going to need time to reflect to completely go within and plan your next move uh, you're going to need to listen to yourself and listen to yourself only we have an individual that is is going to uh, need to go within okay so you're going to need to go within um, so what do we have let me make sure this is That Hierophant is right around the corner. So that is that is a, that is God right around the corner. The challenge is following your heart. Somebody's not following their heart. They need to express their feelings. So I feel as though um, we have an individual that is looking at somebody that is very beautiful. They're looking at following their heart, but they haven't been following their heart. They've been letting somebody control them and or maybe it's society. Somebody has been letting society control them, knowing that, you know, whatever it is that they're doing is not fulfilling their heart. Um, and when you, and God is watching, okay? God is watching, okay? And you, I don't have to believe in God, but this is, I know what this is. God is watching. You're, you're not following your heart. You're following your bank account. You're following stability. You're focusing on money. You're focusing on what the world thinks. Rather, you are. You're focusing on what the world thinks, not what your heart wants. So because somebody is being so materialistic and shallow and not following their heart, they're going to experience a horrendous loss. It is. This is losing it all. It is losing it all. Um, now the three of cups is typically something good it's typically a reunion of some sort or socializing drinking you know friendship a celebration but this there could also be a third party situation here the five of wands reversed is exhausted and fed up there's been a full scale battle and it is the end of the conflict Okay, so this could be um, finally cooperating or finding a solution. There's some sort of controversy here, and it may be between family, it may be to be between family and friends, okay? Family and friends, something like that. But I feel as though right around this new moon we do have an individual that is this is a conscious awareness that is going to become consciously aware something is going to happen something is going to happen there's this is somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye the world card reversed that's 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 unfinished business there's un, and i think that that what is happening here is, is this a big mess and it is a big mess what is happening here is that somebody um, it feels like we have somebody here that <sighs> did something impulsively they did something without thinking okay they abused their power the emperor in reverse is right in the middle this is the emperor in reverse is somebody that doesn't take responsibility that is uh, very entitled very mean is on the wrong side of the law is only looking out for himself is power hungry is 
um, looking to be socially accepted by everybody. Um, it could be a narcissist. This is somebody that is very, very, very controlling. This is a tyrant, um, an individual that is very, very materialistic, um, mean, 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 um, deserts you in the time of need. So this could be a father, a husband, uh, mm. Somebody that promised that they were going to take care of you and they deserted you. That's who this person is. So now this person, you know, this could, now maybe there needs to be a reunion. Maybe there's going to be a reunion. There could be a reunion because this person may start, decide to follow their heart with the King of Cups. This is somebody who may decide to follow their heart. They may have deserted somebody without saying goodbye. They, they didn't do the right thing. The world card reversed is um, not learning a lesson. And with the hangman reverse, that's not learning a lesson either. We definitely have a, an individual here that hasn't learned their lesson. They haven't learned their lesson. And I feel like they are about to experience a great big loss with this Ten of Pentacles reversed because they can't, they, they refuse to learn their lesson. This person's ego is the size of a Mount Rushmore, all four heads. Or whatever it is. Anyway, um, yeah, the ego is humongous. Humongous. And and there's been a lack of closure. And, and they're not going to have success in their business or their financial endeavors or whatever it is that they're trying to do until they follow their heart. Until they be sincere. Until they, you know... <laughs> take responsibility for their actions anyway there's a good chance that there could be a reunion with the king of cups and the three of cups there could be a reunion where there is somebody that expresses their feelings this person left without proper closure they may, may have become enlightened. Something may has, have happened that brought them enlightenment. But there's been a lack of learning a lesson here. I think this is a very sensitive time. I think that, you know, there's fear of rejection. There's fear of rejection. And I feel like uh, this person has a lot of ego pride. And that's why they haven't been able to step forward. There is a higher power that is watching and waiting. This higher power, and maybe they have received some sort of advice from a counselor because it feels like, and, and this could be any kind of counselor. It could be God, could be any kind of counselor or mentor or teacher or somebody that they um, look up to. This, they may have, re somebody may have received some advice from an individual that says, you know, you, you, it feels like you have to confess. You have to tell the truth. You know, this, this feud has been going on long enough. It's time to fess up. Something like that. Um, this is, I, I do believe we have at least one individual here that has become enlightened after learning a hard lesson of some sort. And I think this hard lesson has to do with financial loss of, of some sort. So, or, or a relationship that didn't last. Or a business a, a, that didn't last. Um, something like that. The Ten of Pentacles reversed is a financial disaster. Okay? Um, so this is somebody that had a lot of power, that was in a high position of authority, that is, is basically losing it all. This person is not going to find success, and they're losing it all. And they're losing it all because of their ego, because they deserted somebody when they shouldn't have. You know, they didn't do the right thing, and God was watching. So, I mean, I don't care what anybody says, but that is exactly what this is. Um, now the Three of Cups could be, you know, 
socializing or a reunion. It could certainly be a reunion. So, and this could be peace. Five of Wands reverse could be peace. You know, somebody could be making the peace with somebody that they deserted in the time of need. You know, saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I deserted you. Now, we saw the hermit. I've thought about it. You know, that person, somebody has thought about it. You know, they've had a lot of time to think about what happened. So, let's get another card here for this Emperor Reversed. Six of Cups reversed. A lot of memories. Somebody's been thinking about the memories. There's been maybe there's been some sort of child abuse. of wands now this is robbing of innocence the six of cups reversed is some like a child children or child that was robbed of their innocence now this is packing up and leaving home we have somebody here that had some sort of selective memory they only remembered what they wanted to remember there's abandonment here Anyway, a decision is being made. There's a, there, there's a choice, a decision that is being made during this eclipse, during this new moon eclipse, solstice. There's a, there's a decision that is being made. The decision is being made to move forward and to leave the bad memories behind. Somebody is making a decision to move forward. They are making a decision to go after whoever this person is. This right here, you notice this person that they neglected. They are. Somebody is headed towards somebody that they neglected. And I think they're going to express their feelings. I think, that, but I feel like, I feel like there's some sort of apology. And I don't say that lightly because a lot of people, I mean, a narcissist, I don't think narcissists can apologize. So don't get your hopes up. I mean, the emperor in reverse is somebody that typically cannot apologize. They are on the wrong side of the law. They desert you in the time of need, and they're all about power and control. But with the hermit, that is an awakening. And this, this you know, could be an awakening as well. So I'm not sure what is going on here. Page of Cups reversed. Uh, there's childhood issues here. With that Page of Cups reversed and the Six of Cups reversed, we have we have some issues with children or when somebody was a child or something like that. Somebody also hasn't been following their heart. This Amber in reverse hasn't been following their heart because they've been so money hungry. But I feel like they're making a choice based on, because the hermit is doing what I want, doing what, you know, not I, but you want. It's about, I'm going to listen to myself and listen to myself only. So I think we have an individual that has, has, is going through some sort of awakening and they are deciding to do what they want to do for themselves. And I feel like what they're doing is they are, they've received some sort of advice, maybe from their priest. Maybe from their priest or their counselor or maybe they went to confession or who knows what they did. They received some sort of advice, you know, that it's not all about your things. It's not all about this. It's all not. It's about love, that kind of thing. I don't know. That's a good hope, isn't it? Um, the devil reverse. Take back control of this situation. So I think that we have an individual here that has... 
received some sort of advice or message or and it could be from their own gut or from God or whatever that it's time to take back control it's time to break free there's been a lot of suffering and I think things have gotten worse somebody has reached a deep dark place where there's been a lot of anxiety and depression and it's not getting better and it's not going to get better until they take action so I think that we have an individual here that did something reckless and you know they may they may have had a chip on their shoulder and I feel like now they're making a decision to break free from the old mentality that all that matters is that house, that, that job, that business, whatever. And I know that doesn't seem feasible. It doesn't to me. I'm like, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But the hair font is about believe it. Believe it. It's about believing. So, which is interesting. This is take back control. Now, this is, this is letting go of the materialistic items. The devil in the upright is very materialistic and so is the Ten of Pentacles. They're right on top of each other. So this is letting go of the materialism. The greed. Making a decision. Now, Three of Cups is giving too. It's gifts. And it does have something to do with children or the past. You know, I feel like there could be some sort of reconciliation here. Anyway, um, we have one individual that made a reckless decision, a poor decision based on their ego. And I feel like they get some sort of epiphany or awakening that has happened over time it didn't happen overnight now they 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 see something differently and i think they're going to come forward i think they're coming forward i think this person is going to come forward and reluctantly i think this person is very scared to come forward but i think they will i think that they, they will face their fears and they will come forward and they will um apologize oh my god page of pentacles that is an apology so yes i do i feel like there's an apology that is coming and this could be from a father it could be from an ex-husband an ex-boyfriend uh, somebody that is masculine somebody that is in a position of authority that has abused their power i feel like there's an apology coming and i don't know who this apology is from and if it's not an apology it's a new opportunity Okay, the Page of Pentacles is a new opportunity. It's a new door opening. It's a new enterprise. It's laying a new foundation. Somebody that is willing to invest. They're, in willing, they're willing to do whatever it takes to make something work. And it's not easy. But they're willing to do it anyway. So anyway, be prepared to receive a message from somebody. And it's like an offering. I think it could be a peace offering. Good luck.